Hi beautiful angels, this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming each one of you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a message for this wonderful community of light workers, star seeds and twin flames. These beautiful, gorgeous souls that have incarnated and chosen to come to Earth at this time to help Gaia in its ascension, to face the darkness for the collective and transmute, transmute it to the higher vibration of love, connecting back to the source light. And coming here, we forget what our soul mission is, what our sacred path is, because we've stepped into duality. We've forgotten who we are. We've forgotten our sacred path. Today, this reading, is going to delve deep into how we can connect with our sacred path so we may fulfill our life's mission and why we came here on earth at this time. That is the intention for this reading. So I wanted to know how we can connect deeper with our sacred path. So we're going to first look at what are the challenges and the obstacles that each one of us are facing here as a collective. What are the thematic challenges right now that we're facing and how we can overcome these challenges? The three areas that I'm going to look at on how we can overcome the challenges. I want to look at when we recognize what our greatest potential, when we recognize what our greatest talent is, we realize who we are at the core. So I want to look at our greatest potential and talents and ways in unlocking our gifts that are locked deep within our subconscious, waiting to be birthed, waiting to come out. So I want to look at unlocking our gifts and creativity. Lightworkers, star seeds, and twin flames have deep, deep, deep energy for a lot of creativity. A lot of creativity. And then we'll go into how we can connect with our sacred path. So that is the journey we'll go on in today's reading. Let's take some overriding messages before we begin. Divine love, divine love. We're being asked to connect with our deepest part within us, to find the connection with the source light, kissing the divine in another, kissing the divine within ourselves, creating this yin yang balance between us, creating this harmony and balance within us. That's the start of our reading. Card number 13, it says coherence. The frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. Understanding the connection between the heart and the mind the masculine energy, the feminine energy, the left brain, the right brain, creating the ultimate union within. Overriding energies. Change. Understanding that change, the frequency of this change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. A new cycle, I feel, is emerging. For the light workers, star seeds, twin flames, the way showers for the community, there is a big change on the cards here for us. One more message to angels. Home. Many of us on our journey here, when we incarnate on earth, we are constantly seeking to connect with our roots from where we came. 
star systems, other areas where our consciousness has birth from. Right now, we're being asked that in this reality, that Mother Earth is our home. As we meditate in nature, we are bringing in the healing energy of Mother Gaia. We are serving as this conduit. I'm looking at the tree trunk as you being this conduit of light, connecting the star systems with the energy coming down up from up from our star systems, from our crown, soul star chakra, coming down, opening of the heart, where we're seeing this divine love within us, within another, within everything that's happening. And it helps us open to our divinity. And that energy travels and blesses the earth. And we are anchored in earth. This is where we are starting our reading. Divine love and home. What are the current challenges that the collective is facing right now? Let's look at the current challenges. Lack. Lack. Lack of abundance. Lack within the self. Comparison. We're getting straight into the 3D. We are right now in a lower chakras which keeps us not allowing our spirit to move up into the higher chakras and connecting with our own divinity. This comes from the envy is somebody else has more than me. Why do they deserve more than me? A very, very 3D concept, a very, very comparative concept. We have to remember that we are anchoring the energy of love, looking at limitless abundance, that is around us through the source energy and tapping into our own ability to manifest. We are magic manifestors. We have come coded. It's in our DNA. It's in our DNA to create and manifest anything that we desire. So we have to overcome the energy of the devil. We have to overcome the darkness to see the light, to see the light. This would be a good time to practice gratitude. Appreciate our journey so far. Appreciate the journey thus far. What is the soul lesson that we are integrating at this time? Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Than to love. Love is the reason we are here to anchor in the highest vibration possible of unconditional love. Divine love coming back to home, connecting with Mother Nature, bringing in that deep gratitude. We have to start looking at success not from the 3D concept of the home that you have, the car that you have, or the way you look. We have to move beyond that vibration. It's we're encoded. We need to overcome that. What are our current challenges, the angels? What are the current challenges that the light workers and twin flames are facing? To look at things from a different perspective. We got awakening. This is the time for heart awakening. This is the time for crown chakra awakening and activation. It is time to look at things from a different perspective. From a different perspective. And being in a standstill can be very difficult for twin flames, light workers who are used to seeing the manifestation occur as they think, as they feel faster manifestation but we have to recognize and honor the rules we are here on earth it has its own set of rules on manifestation the density that it holds we have to understand and work within this limitation feeling the limitless being that we are connecting with the limitless source energy that we are so that we can be the way showers and show others that even though 
it may feel like you are in this structure that you are boxed in do you see that square right there on the outer edges that you are boxed in but there is that limitless flow that's within that circular flow the number zero activating that potential activating that potential of all potentialities exist exist right there what do you desire what do you choose what do you choose you have the power to change I may not be able to change the beginning I for sure know how to change the ending that is the mantra to remember challenge is being in the standstill but it is only when we are stilling our mind and our ed energy that we are opening ourselves to receive that we are opening our energy field to receive receive this tremendous love tremendous love that's coming our way that we are capable of experiencing and sharing with the world that we are capable of experiencing and and sharing with the world how can we overcome these challenges angels so we need to look at what is our greatest potential and what is our greatest talent let's have a look at them so greatest potential greatest talents for the light workers star seeds and twin flames cat first things before I even read anything is intuition we are deeply intuitive we have this innate knowing, but we have forgotten to trust our intuition. There's the energy of independence. You are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. You're a natural healer. You're a natural healer. You have an innate gift of intuition. Stop following the crowd. Be the leader that you're meant to be as a guiding light. That's your potential. Leading others. You're going to teach others that how, when you surrendered, how when you surrender to the spirit and to your inner knowing, to your heart, to your, to your heart source. You started listening to your heart. You gave wings to your heart. You birthed a new you. You birthed a new you. And through that, you realized your greatest potential. Whatever you wish to desire, you manifested. You will show others through your own work by walking that path. That is your talent. The greatest talent for the light workers, star seeds, and the twin flames. The greatest talent, and potential. What do my star seeds, light workers, and twin flames have as their highest potential? family of light you are enlightened beings you've incarnated on earth with this knowledge with this knowing you know how to create this rainbow bridge you are connected to the infinite source to the heart of God all higher dimensions and beings are blessing you and you're here and you're meant to serve as this guiding light on earth as you deepen your connection within your own soul you recognize and see your unique gifts and talents your ability to draw in experiences your ability to draw in opportunities as you think you manifest but first 
you must remember who you are. I'm not the body. I'm not the emotion. I'm not the thought. I'm not the mind. The mind is only a subtle instrument of the soul. I am the soul. I am a spiritual being of divine intelligence. I am a spiritual being of divine love. I am a spiritual being of divine power. I am one with my highest soul. I am that I am. I am one with the divine spark within me. I am a child of God. I am connected with God. I am one with God. I am one with all. So hum. So hum. Your greatest gift is the gift of connecting everyone to the source of light. To find that light within them. That is your gift. That is your gift. Your gift is show people how to connect on their life path. But you can only show others by connecting on the life path when you connect on yours. You have to remember that you are a star seed. You have the eternal light within you. You are the twin flame. You have that eternal flame of love burning inside you. You have to remember you are the light worker. You are the way shower. You have to remember all your carnations on earth. All were serving for a certain purpose. Every action, every unfoldment is a part of the given path. You are meant to experience these challenges. Nothing is an accident. You designed this path for yourself. Remember that and it will unlock your own path and your own potential. I started the reading by saying that light workers, star seeds, and twin flames have tremendous energy for creativity. It is time to come out of the shadows for the third ray of creative intelligence is opening up for you in this month. This, this tremendous energy portal that's opening up it is time for you not to play small. It is time for you not to play the victim. It is time for you to let go of being the martyr. It is time to step into your divine destiny. It is time to step into your highest potential as a bringer of light. No matter what the challenge, you have the capacity, you have the innate capacity you have the innate alchemical processes coded in your DNA to rise out of that darkness and allow the opening of this creative intelligence to flow through you. Let go of what has been told to you. Let go of the limitations and allow the frequency of change to guide you. Allow yourself to change and transform into this butterfly bringing in that light and love within the hearts of all. Fly! Creative intelligence is upon you. Greatest talent. What is the greatest talent for the light workers, star seeds, and the twin flames at this time? first card that came out was support and we got the family of light as support it says here I surround myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams you have the ability to support and nourish people around you you do have the ability to support another and help them out of this darkness, 
Help them transform into beings of light that they are. Help them see the divinity. Help them see their life path and their life purpose. Be the bringer of light. Speaking the truth. Fighting through negativity. Being that warrior of light. You know how. You're natural. It's your innate gift. Reach your highest potential. You're being asked to reach your highest potential. You're being asked to remember your greatest potential. Empowerment. You have the gift of empowerment that you can recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. As you empower yourself, you empower another through your energy. You have the gift of empowerment to overcome all challenges and all obstacles, for you know that there is no greater goal than to love. You can guide others through that awakening process to help them see to release feelings of lack and envy and resentment and limitation and let them step into their full light, kissing the divine in another without judgment, without judgment. You have the eye of the Horus is opening right here you have that your thoughts are very magnetic your thoughts are very powerful miraculous changes are occurring there is a cosmic gateway that is opening for you twin flames light workers and star seeds you have that deep intuitive power and knowing that is your gift <clears throat> I feel <clears throat> that some of you are not speaking your truth. I'm feeling massive blockage in my throat chakra right now. I'm actually feeling a big constriction <clears throat> in my throat. Some of you are blocking your creativity to flow through and be expressed through the throat chakra. So I'm picking up a lot of sacral chakra blockages I'm picking up a lot of lower chakra blockages where you are feeling and not allowing yourself to shine and express your authenticity that's what I'm picking up for you right now let's look at how we can unlock our greatest gifts and creativity moving that sacral chakra energy up into the throat chakra for expression creative expression how can the light workers, star seeds, and twin flames step into the greatest creativity and unlocking those gifts and talents? What do they need to do? How can they? What are the steps that they can take? Okay, I will take them all. We have to remember that we have all the ability to manifest anything. So we have to step into our own power as this magician, Yang energy, taking action. You have the support of the light. You're fully supported. You're sitting in suspension right now because you need to break free from the matrix of the haves and the have nots and I do not and this. And we have to step back into the heart source. We have to remember what is it that we are creating and that my thoughts are magnetic. Anything that I think I can manifest, I have to believe it, I have to live it. You are the magician. Unlock your creativity by stepping into this role as a magician. The energy of the magician is here, is here, helping you. But you've got to use that energy to expand into directions and horizons of your heart's desire. The energy of creativity and expansion is coming here. The third ray of creative intelligence, another number three. You're connected with the Christ consciousness. 
you're connected with this Christic energy. Of this rainbow light is you're being blessed. This creative energy is coming down to you. If you've been battling and you've been living a life where you've not allowed your light to shine out, there's a portal and a gateway that's opening right now, the cosmic gateway, that's going to flood your energy body with these lights so you can expand and rise to the heights. You have to remember that you are worthy of the life you say that you want. It is time to step into our own power and believe in our ability to magnetize anything that we desire. That's how you unlock your creativity. When you learn to manage, to balance and move in unison, the light and the dark forces, understanding that life has its ebbs and flows, understanding that there will be challenges followed by rewards, understanding that your work is to do the work and not worry about when it's going to be delivered or how it's going to be delivered. Your job is to work on the light and the dark and to go on your sacred path fearlessly, fearlessly allowing the soul to be in charge, remembering that mind is only the subtle instrument of the soul, that I am the soul. I'm one with my higher self. Allowing your higher self to guide you is going to open up your creativity. No longer allowing this energy of competition and lack to keep you down. You're meant to ride up and rise up, free and light. You know how to end conflict, end the inner conflict, end the inner conflict and the external will match that. Take charge of your mind. Don't let the mind control you. Allow the soul to guide you. Allow the soul to guide you. What is the soul lesson that will help us as we master this soul lesson that will help us in unlocking our deepest creativity and latent talents. Growth. You know, when I was shuffling the cards uh, in the pre-shuffle, this card came out twice and I just had a feeling this will kind of show up in a reading sometime. Our, our consciousness is expanding in this month, upcoming month. And as we with our desire to expand our consciousness and our awareness, there is tremendous growth that's going to take place. And through that tremendous growth, again, do you see the cycles here? Do you see now that there is a square and then there is a circle? In this case, the circle and the square are almost intersecting each other. Remember this frequency of change? Similar. Either you feel like you're boxed in or look at the circle, the ever-expanding circle that can encompass that square, bringing in that stability with that change, growth and expansion and change. And I want to show you something and I just give me a second. I'm wearing it. And I have a ton of video on ammonite. Do you see this? The spiral of life. The infinite movement starting from the center the evolution and growth that takes place with every spiral you're taking a higher vantage point ebbs and flow and you gain new knowledge new insights and new perspective allow your perception to expand And what will help us is what do we need to surrender to unlock this creativity, this massive creativity that's waiting to be birthed out. What do we need to surrender? Surrender your fear to intimacy and surrender to miracles. When we are open, when we are open to giving and receiving and we open the door, in my uh, meditation session yesterday, I was talking about 
how many times we put out all these beautiful dreams and desires in the universe but and the universe says okay i'm bringing in this gift for you and it's the universe is knocking at your door but you're too busy doing something else and you don't open your door to receive that gift we may be asking subconsciously or we have been asking subconsciously and consciously for a long long time and because of divine timing it didn't come to you when you wanted it on your agenda on your time frame so you closed your heart that it will never come that i'm never meant to receive it i'm meant to live in the shadows this is my destiny this is my fate i will never be able to rise up and shine again that this is my fate and destiny but the universe is bringing in this energy is bringing in deep miraculous healing where you're going to rise out of the shadows and you're going to be this light being free free just like this butterfly huge transformation allow the past wounds to be washed away connect to nature i'm feeling the divine is bringing in because you'd been intimate before opened your heart and soul to people doesn't have to be in a love relationship it's just to me is with other people and it was not reciprocated you were hurt abandoned so there was a lot of sadness and picking up a lot of sadness grief and perhaps that's where when you see others you're feeling resentful and the and and occasional feelings of envy come up and you'd no longer want to open your heart because you have such a beautiful heart you don't want to open up that heart and feel that pain again but the divine is saying recognize and appreciate your journey it is deep time for awakening right now and you have to remember that there's no greater goal than to love there was a lesson in that challenge there was a lesson in that abandonment if you're feeling abandoned the source energy wants you to connect with a deeper light within you so you can show others not to connect and look for things in external that everything must be an internal journey because you're the way shower you are this way shower you know this it is time for you to let love in allow love to wash over wash over every corner every aspect of your being release those patterns that stop you from opening your heart because here's the dolphin energy i was in hawaii a couple of weeks back and we saw dolphins there and i was connecting into that energy of joy and love and happiness the cetacean matrix be open to the miracles opening and occurring in your life feel and know because you are you have this gift that's your potential you have deep insight and deep intuition feel and know that these events are real let go of the resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen miracles don't happen to others miracles are happening to you miracles happen to me in my life every day and i'm open to receiving the miracle i know a miracle is occurring i know that mantra for you we've blown out all the lights here a lot of light coming out thank you all the elements are here the air element for sure is supporting me right now what were we looking at we're looking at how we can unlock creativity how we can unlock our greatest potential i'm going to look at a couple more tarot i'm feeling that i said to okay we'll look at these new beginning <laughs> transformation another card number 13 coherence was the card number 13 of change and transformation things are going to be brought to balance for you. You're going to be that magician. Things are going to be brought to balance for you. This is not a card of imbalance in my in, in what I'm picking up here. I'm feeling like 
Karmic cycles are coming to an end a large for a large group of people. If you've been doing the inner work, a karmic cycles are coming to an end and there's going to be this when there has been that down cycle, there is a new up cycle that's opening up for you. Because I'm feeling this, I'm feeling the creative ray, I'm feeling growth, I'm feeling change, I'm feeling all this energy of rising up, I'm feeling all this energy of rising up. That's all I'm seeing in the cards here right now. There is huge transformation that's taking place. And with this transformation, you're going to remember and open your own creative potential. It's been unlocked for you. You're going to have a new beginning feel the fire within you and this is coming in through the divine to ignite that passion to ignite that light once again just like on a rocket you need that ignition this is the ignition that's coming for you when that ignition comes follow your heart's calling follow what your heart is asking for and that is going to open up your creative channels you're going to recognize and see you're letting go of those mental negative thought patterns that kept you hidden and not allowing you to expand it's time for expansion it's time for movement it's time for opening and surrendering to the miracles that are coming forth to us to be this light that you're meant to be